want to believe in trees that whisper and put travellers on the right path, in stones that are magical and alive, in rivers that sing and gnomes that work in our gardens, in shamans and wizards and elves and dragons. As children we believed, as children we lived in those worlds, carried there on the loving rhythms of parents' voice, tucked safely in our beds and left to explore these worlds more fully in our dreams. And once we gathered enough experience with the right hemisphere of the brain, we turned to cultivating the left hemisphere and explored the intellect rather than the imagination. Now is the time to put it all back together again balance the hemispheres and experience the expanded realities such a union reveals. We have experienced this union before. It has given many names. Enlightenment, the flow state, whole brain knowing. But we have forgotten for a while. All that is required to regain this balance is to remember Remember. Dismembered is how many feel. But that is just a part of the process of awakening. A tried and true way to understand how something works is to take it apart completely. Study each part and its relation to the whole. And then reassemble. Put it all back together again. Dismember. And then remember. Stories can help us remember because they help us to feel a part of a larger whole, which of course we are. And during those spaces where you forget distinctions such as story or storyteller or listener, you let yourself into the story. And it is then that you can remember, catch a glimpse of, of your true self. Because all is a mirror. Stories remind us the world is magical, spiritual, and supernatural. This is just as important as ever, and so many are so alienated from Mother Nature and her rhythms. It is the rhythm of a story that reminds us of the rhythms each one of us has in common with others and with nature. You could say it's all just imagination, but if you persist with your spiritual quest, sooner or later you will come to realise that imagination is the essence of magic, of what people nowadays call shamanism, of the quest for self-knowledge. It all starts with the mind. The mind is the bow, will is the arrow. And the power is in the intent. So yes, it is all, mostly, just imagination. It is a story. In this earth walk, the shaman is asked to face certain tasks, with eyes open, with an aura of self-realization, not blind dogma. If you choose to walk this path with me for a while, join me for some journeys. And keep your eye open and let the drum carry you. <coughs> let yourself flow with the rhythm until your brain does its balancing act and reality expands outwards from this mere three dimensions, illuminated by a light that comes from within you, from self, as limits drop away like water off a duck's back and the multiverse reveals itself. We are all at one with the universe, essentially, with all that is, with great spirit. And so, I am one with you, for the moment. I have caught your attention now with the rhythm of my story. Listen. Hear the beat. Feel the rhythm. 
you discern a harmonic pulsing somewhere along one of the tendrils of your mind. Let yourself sink into the story. Become the main character. And let yourself be transformed.